to this one real good. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> I still got that like. Isn't that like, good? <laughs> Six hundred. Six hundred caps available. So that they hear that little announcement. That means this would be can be used at this point. Oh. You got to be higher than six hundred feet above the ground. Oh. In order to use it. Sure. Five zero seven Romeo Whiskey. Contact Razorback. Have a good flight. Oh, Razorback. Have a good day. Seven Romeo Whiskey. Good morning, Razorback approach. Five zero seven Romeo Whiskey. Just off Rogers. Two four zero climbing five thousand. 7 Romeo Whiskey, raise back to your radar content, maintain VFR. VFR, 7 Romeo Whiskey. If you're hot or cold or anything, you can open or close these. I think they're okay. closed right now. Maybe a little chilly. Departure on 3611, 2.8. I always five, like seven, a little bit of air flow because I get hot. Zero. I'm with 3611, raise back to your radar contact, climb and maintain 15,000, turn right, heading 300. Right turn heading 300 and climb and maintain 15,000 on boy 7527 Kilo, raise back bridge. See some rain and stuff around south of Fayetteville, down that way. All staying south of us today. Good. 7527 Kilo, Roger, hold for release. Clear to the 20 Victor Airport via the Benton 7 departure. Then it's filed. Climb and maintain 3,000. Expect 8,000. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 126.6. Squawk 5621. Hold for release. 
Including snow up there. Yep, huh? snow. And you can, these are wind barbs. That's telling you the okay. direction of the wind. These are iso bars. So you didn't get a read back you said you're, uh, yeah. you're ready for departure. You guys would have been there already, huh? Oh, yeah, we'd have been in Arizona. 27 Kilo, Roger, just verify you said off 1 8. 27 Kilo, release for departure clearance for you. It's not off in 7 minutes. It's not off in 7 minutes. Device oh. approach of intention is not later than 1 2 minutes. Alright. We're just going to go to 3,000. So 3,000. 3,000. That's my power setting. Right, We're at 101% power, power, so we're going to speed up here a little bit. I'm going to show on way 36 left. It's and then I'm going to pull back the throttle. Tango, Center, one, like two, eight point four seven. Eighty percent, forty-eight, forty-seven. Seventy-five, probably okay. today. That's how much fuel we're burning right Army there. Coffee I'm going to pull that to back to about sixteen or seventeen. Contact Kansas City Center, one, two, eight point six. Because you got to, you got to be in basically in cruise range. Right. I'm just pulling that triangle down to that blue line Army right there. Helicopter zero eight eight three seven. Contact Kansas City Center, one, two, eight point six. Kept down like right now, 18 miles, 18 gallons per hour is what that thing would do. Yeah, so I'm doing 17.3. Yeah, we're about 79% today. 17.2. This will show you how far we could go with how much fuel we have on board. At that, at this Number two, golf X-ray flighting three two. So we could literally get to that dark green circle. Probably. We could get to the Gulf of Mexico. Contact Kansas City Center one two eight point six. Are you all the way down? Are you full? Yeah. We might lose it as we get uh, a little we, bit uh, into like we have, uh, over the mountains. We had 60 gallons on board because that's what I had planned for our trip. Okay. Uh, but it'll hold 92. That's pretty impressive then. It holds a lot. Our other plane only held 74. Wow. So, and it was slower, so it required, you know, more planning and I would have to stop and do stuff like that, you know. So it just didn't hold as much fuel. Yep. So now, if we're going the other way, how far would that, how, could you get all the way to, say, Waco now without having to worry about stopping? So I could probably get to... Number 4 2 Golf X-ray, when able Rogers Airport, 11 to 12 o'clock, 1 to mile. 2 Golf X-ray, we'll call it here momentarily. I could get almost to oh, Albuquerque, wow. almost. The airport's in sight for two golf X-ray. So what I had planned. Two golf X-ray, clear visual approach, runway two zero. Yesterday was I was going to go to Amarillo. That would have been about two and a half hour flight. Two zero, stop, the tower, whatever. Thirty-seven. Get some fuel, then go to Albuquerque, and we were actually going to spend the night in Albuquerque, um, and then fly into Sedona the next morning. Sedona, the airport there, is up on a uh, perch. Mountaintop type thing. Okay. That it's it, they call it the uh, they call it the aircraft carrier because it's like an aircraft carrier. It's on like a mesa. <laughs> and uh, during the day, the wind is ridiculous. So you either land in the morning or land in the evening. Take off in the morning, take off in the evening. You don't do it during the day because if there's any wind at all, it's hitting that mesa and it'll cause updrafts and downdrafts and it's just a nightmare. Have you landed 4,000 request vector pilot? No, I've never. Left option tower. I was going to. Sandy 5, Joker yeah, rating. I was supposed to be already there, there this the morning. <laughs> right 3 0 0 Hey, my mom always said ben that Bill, like, uh, Bill, the uh, airport down there was harder to get either land or take off. Seven five two seven off a runway uh, one eight heading. Uh, it is a little bit harder zero. because it's in like a valley. Yeah, okay. Seven five two seven kilo. Was like power to ride in. Save about ten minutes. Three zero zero five. Three zero zero five. Side dead. Number two seven kilo radar contact. Climb and maintain eight thousand flight present heading for now. Flight present heading of eight thousand. Yeah, I'm not planning on going tomorrow. Okay. Kilo. I know. Okay. Where are you going? Where are they going? Me and the boys are going golfing. Oh. We're coming back here to golf tomorrow. Oh, oh Branson. Yeah. Good. Number two seven kilo, turn right on course. Right on course, Skywagon 7527 Kilo. What airport are we going to there, Brass? We're on a point lookout. Do it's I? a little bitty one. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, it's all like 
fresh. Uh, the big one, the Ranson, is down yeah. over here. We're they going have, this like, one here. They have cattle. They have a big Number farm. Number five, Romeo, Whiskey, Contact, Springfield Approach, 126.35. The college students work there. 26.35, Romeo, Whiskey. They have Springfield. different jobs. Oh, that's cool. Seven. I was looking up the radio numbers for the airport we're going to. Highway 3495, Springfield Park, hello, radar contact, 17, 1, 5,000, clear direct Fort Smith. Springfield approach, good morning, 507, Romeo Whiskey, 4.5. This is 507, Romeo Whiskey, Springfield approach, hello, information, uh, you're as current at uh, BBG, advising you up there. I will advise, 7 Romeo Whiskey, thanks. Temperature one zero dew point minus one, October three zero one one. Expect visual approach runway one four and use advise on initial contact. You have information Sierra. French to information Sierra time one five four six zero weather. Win one one zero at eight. Weather's better than five. One one zero at eight, three zero one one. So I got the weather. Uh weather at Branson Airport. See the big airport's this one here. Yep. We're going over here. The little one. I'm going to fly to that one tomorrow. But um, the weather at the airport we're going to, that doesn't have an automated weather. So I listen to the other one because it's close enough. Sure. Seven Romeo Whiskey, information Sierra. Number seven Romeo Whiskey, thank you. Traffic, 12 o'clock to one zero miles. Delivering in that area indicating 3,700 under a fire. We'll be searching Seven Romeo Whiskey. He's talking about that plane right there. So I'm going to fly a little behind him. He's still a long ways away. Is he okay? Station air. 10.6 miles away. To the left, that's the back of the traffic. He's 900 feet below us. Now at 5,500, climbing above you, number 170. Usually it's about 2. Oh, 2. They're really hard to see. At night, they're easy, but at daytime. At daytime, they are really hard to see. Oh, speaking of night and daytime, are you, uh... Did it do anything with the eclipse day or? Yeah, I'm thinking about going to uh, Russellville that day. That's right. Two five mile Springfield approach. I'm thinking about doing that. Yeah. We expect a bit further. One four seventeen five thousand. They're saying they have all these flights that are going to be up in the up in the air to see the. Two five mile. You can expect further expansion. Well, that's what I was wondering. How, what would be the? I would think you have a very compromised view. Yeah, there's a uh, there's airports all around that are doing different things. Uh, Russellville is doing something. Uh, they're not charging for it either, which is why oh, I was really? thinking about going there. Yeah. Well, they're saying Russellville is almost one of the best places in the country to be. For yeah. What time is it supposed to hit Russellville? Well, we're 12:33. Uh, is it? So I, if I do it, I'm gonna have to be doing it over my lunch on Monday. Okay. But that's what I was thinking about doing. Of course, that all depending on weather. Right? Five, five, five years ago, that traffic no factory kind of Kansas City Center one two eight point six. Five five years ago. I heard it wasn't going to be. Five years ago, I did the one. Traffic is five now. Resume on navigation. In, uh, where was it? Up in uh, Missouri, Iowa. Yeah. You, you and Jeff I, went. I was there. Yeah, I can't remember the place I went. I knew people who went to Kansas City. I went to Smithville. That's a three thirty two, Roger. Yeah, it was really cool. I can't remember the airport we went to. It, it was. That was my very first experience with a total like that. That was. That was seven really Romeo Whiskey, that traffic is no factor. Looks like they're uh, eastbound now. They're about seven miles away. I appreciate it. We're still looking, but uh, I went ahead and jogged a little west of him to uh, make sure we don't have anything, any issues. Thanks, though. Yeah, we flew over a year, about five years ago or something like that. It was uh, not too long after I got my pilot license. Oh, okay. Got you up. went with Jeff. Yeah. Jeff Smith squared is what we call them. Jeff Smith. Uh-huh. The Simeon's dad. See, there's that other plane His there. Is Jeff Smith, okay. too. That's this one oh. here. So I'm he, descending he now. They were Jeff Smith squared. So he's, he's going this way. Yeah. We're going to go behind him. But I'm descending, so I'm only 400 feet above him right now. Oh. So that's why it's important. Um, you'll see him off your right wing here in a yeah. couple minutes. One twenty-two seven. Okay. We're 
over here. We're going to come in here and then land this way. There's another plane there coming out of Point Lookout. Okay. He's going slow. This guy's only going 53 knots, 52 knots. He's going slow. We're going 170 knots. Wow. Is he ready to land or something? Or I don't know he... what he's doing. He looks like he's just over the uh, lake, over here just flying around. He should be about 1 o'clock right now, somewhere down there, but he's still, still 5.8 miles away, so really hard to see him. Landing checklist. Hey, there's a lot of good options. Mike Alta, kind of Kansas City Center, 128.35. Yeah, it looks like he's turning back two, around. 2835. Like yeah, he's just cruising over here. He's right in the middle of that, see that little U shape right there? He's yeah. right in the middle of the, the land area. You can kind of see where he's at on this map right here. Then that little land mass jutting out this way. Okay. What lake are we over right now? Is it still Beaver? Uh, no, this is, the, this is the Lake Taney Como, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, and it, that's Kimberly City right there, isn't it? I no? believe so, yep. Oh, that's fast. Oh, yeah. Very quick. Andy Como is where Kanakuk was, or is, one of them. I was going to say, it's still there, isn't it? Yeah, it's still there. Um, K1, K4, and family camper on Tani Como. Brent's and Bell's usually over there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. On that side of the lake. Well, isn't the Branson Bell, isn't it on, is it on Taney Combo? I was going to say, maintain or at about the correction at or I don't know. Wow, their best carrot cake is gluten free. I've never had, I don't ever get carrot cake. This is the other airport I've landed at over here. Seven Romeo Whiskey, Crater Service, 30th Squad VFR, change by the crew, five with three miles northwest, point lookout, indicating 1,300. Appreciate it, VFR, Seven Romeo Whiskey, good day. Branson West? Branson area traffic, point lookout traffic, 507 Romeo Whiskey. We're going to be on the straight in 1 2 for this about a, a short flight. 14 mile final. Less than 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, Brain, uh, Silverdor City is not too far from this airport. It's over here somewhere. Uh, J Jacob and I flown in here, landed here before, and went straight to Silverdor City. Wow. I, think, I think that's one of the parking lots oh, for Silverdor sure City. Is. Yep. What is this one called? Uh, I can't remember the name of it. I'm not fond of it because it's a weird airport and it's downhill and it goes right into the side of a mountain. Yeah. Not a good combination. So is you flying to the Branson Airport or to like the Hollister one? Or? We're going into the Hollister Airport. Okay. Yep. It's because they have a free car. Oh, that's even better. Oh, and hopefully they have it today. So. Is it going to be the pit mobile? Yep, it'll be the pit mobile. Uh -huh. We're going to ride the style all day. Uh -huh. What is it? You know what's sad? I was thinking about the Buick I drove when I was in high school. It is pretty much the pit mobile. <laughs> what kind of Buick did you have? A big, huge one. I don't know. It was big, four door, had velvet seats. Oh, yeah. Velour. <laughs> My dad has a, like I a green Mercury Marquee, and I always call it the Hoopty. Yeah. <laughs> that, that crushed rel red velvet. Oh. Mine was green. Uh, you know what? That might have been a helicopter, actually. That might have been a helicopter. Oh, yeah. that was... yeah. They do that. Uh, they do those tours. Yep. Yeah, this is Sildar City right here, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. There's all the roller coasters. It'll be right off your right wing. Where's College of the Ozarks? Do we see it yet? It's up here to the, it'll be uh, 
to the right of the airport we're landing at. Oh, okay. That's cool. Point lookout traffic, 507 Romeo Whiskey. We're on about a six mile final straight in one two point lookout. See our airport straight ahead. Oh, okay, yep. That strip, you want to straight out. Well, that's behind Menards. Watch your feet down there. Yeah, I am. Oops, sorry. There's the, over here to the left is that tower. What's that called? Shepherd of the Hills? Inspiration Tower. Oh, yep. yeah. Oh, look at that. In that little city, little town. Little I've never town. done the Shepherd of the Hills. We yeah. stayed right over there by that colorful hotel when we stayed with my parent, my, my family. Huh? And we went to the lake. So right over there is This that. is Treasure Lake over here to the left, Shelly. Oh, really? I've never noticed it before. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, yeah. Parents love that place. You can see the building and everything. There's the swimming pool. There's the red mall right there. Blue mall should be that way somewhere. That chateau of uh, whatever is on the right up chateau on the on hill. The lake. Oh, yeah. oh, there it is. Yep. I've stayed there. Where's Big Cedar? Beautiful. Uh, where big cedar is. So that over point there is traffic, table rock. 507 Romeo right. Whiskey, three mile final straight in, one, two point lookout. This was the um, amusement part that shut down. Oh, Celebration oh. City? Yeah, Celebration City it was called. I like that little part. I did too, that wooden roller coaster was. I'm not sure that. Yeah, here's the blue mall to the left. We're okay. going over it now. Red mall. Yeah, we'll I think we'll probably go right. there today, go to Lululemon. Lululemon. So this is Tanger, right? The red one? Yeah, no, the blue one's Tanger. The red one they changed into a baseball complex. I see that. That's a lot of shops in there, too. The only, I think... Sorry, I'm on your phone. Oh, no, you're fine. I went to the the old one, like, you know, back in college. 500. Like, they had both. 500 people. Yeah. One. Everybody wanted to keep doing Tanger because... At the newer shop. They had all the good stores. Right. Children's Here's. Carters used to be in Fountain. There's Tanny Como. Mm. Do you know why Tanny Como gets its name? No. Anybody? Anybody? No. So point lookout traffic, Tanny, 507 Tanny, Romeo Whiskey, County, short Missouri. final. Tanny One, two, point lookout. Como. Uh, Tanny County, Missouri. Didn't know that. That's a fun fact. Minimums. Minimums. Our minimum call out. Yeah, somebody's in there. And if, if the free one's not available, they you can rent a car. It hurts right here, too. Yeah, there's where they fly the helicopters out of. Right here. Oh. Uh, like the entertainment helicopters to take you around? Yeah, just to see. Yep. Yeah, the sights. There's a Cirrus plane we're going to park right next to. It. Pretty silver one. It's not as pretty as a little blue, though. Baby blue. Baby blue. Yeah, this plane was uh, 2013 as well. 
That other plane we had was an 07. Oh. Catch it cheaper. <laughs> it was, you got it cheaper. It was newer. Had a brand wow. new George Strait has a song called Baby Blue. A lot more capability. Oh, the, only, wow. the, is... the only difference, knockoff, is the space. Sure. Buddy. And how much it can carry. If anybody says Baby Blue, I automatically start it. Still carries song. four people. Like, still so carries four people. Like, Get back. Sure I have does. To go listen to it. It's like I turned into a song. Yeah, that's a serious like this one. Why? Uh, no. <sighs> so far, we've been really lucky with all our blues. I know what we'll do for our next one because we're kind of running out of blue names. Maybe well, there won't be a next one. Maybe this will this will probably be it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you get the what about when the boys get married? <laughs> uh, Fly the, the girls. They'll fly a commercial. 